Hi. System approach. There is a broad consensus that if we want to improve the performance of our company, we have to take a system approach, a holistic approach. We all agree about that. The only question is, how do you do it? Well, let's try. First thing is, it's obvious that we cannot look on just one function in isolation or just one issue in isolation. So, for example, if you want to take a system approach to an organization, uh, you have to start with a broad base. Like, for example, uh, to take into consideration logistics and the markets and financial concerns. And don't forget that any organization is composed out of people. You must take into account people relationships as well. So far, so good. But then what do you do? In order to demonstrate it, I want to take an example. Now, as always, when you're taking examples, there is a fear of taking a too small example, and then the conclusions are worthless, or a too broad example, and then it's like you haven't taken an example at all. So what I will do is I will take an ex as an example the entire steel industry in the world. System approach, what did we say? We'll take, for example, one aspect of logistic. What will it be in uh, the uh, steel industry? Something really bothering people about the existing logistics. It will be something like uh, finished goods inventories are much too high in that industry. Well. Let me tell you a little bit about it so you'll understand that when the steel industry is talking about problems of too much finished goods inventory, it's even worse than what happens in your industry. You see, a mid-range steel mill has about a quarter of a million tons of finished steels on their yards. This is huge. Uh, why does it bother them so much? Just let me remind you that steel, not like wine, is not improving with time. As a matter of fact, when you're really talking to them, they confess, confess that they don't know what they produce more, steel or rust. <laughs> this is the magnitude of the problem. It's huge. Then we said, we shouldn't take just logistic problem and deal with it in isolation. We have to look on other issues at the same time in order to have the system approach. What was the other thing? Uh, the market. Now, what do you look on the market, something bad? Well, in the steel industry, it's very easy to see what is bad because that's what you're getting through the phones all the time, and this is customer complaints. Not like in other industries, there are something a little bit special about the steel industry, which is over 95% of the complaints is about one single issue, and they're furious complaints. And the issue is you promised to deliver, and you didn't deliver on time.